Hey guys, welcome to another math video. Uh, so for this one, I'll be talking about regular polygons. Okay, so this is what we'll be going through. Lots of stuff for this one. Okay, so <clears throat> regular polygon. So a polygon is a shape with at least three sides, so three sides or more. And poly just means many, and gon is shape so many sided shape okay so a regular polygon um is defined as a shape with sides that are the same measure and interior angles that are the same measure as well <clears throat> okay so to get the total or the sum of the interior angles we use this formula here so 180 degrees times the quantity n minus 2 or n is the number of sides of your shape okay so this will give you the sum of all the interior angles now if you want to find each individual angle interior angle you would use the same formula but you would just divide the whole thing by n so number of sides <coughs> okay so this is an example of a regular pentagon so penta means five, so this is a five-sided shape. So you can see all the sides. They have one tick mark indicating that they're all the same measure. And all the angles, you can see they got that little curve inside, means that they are the same measure. So there's a couple of different ways you can <clears throat> um, mark up the angles. One way is by using just um, curves. So if one angle is one measure and another angle is a different measure, you can use one curve for one and two curves for the other. Or you can use one curve with tick marks in it. So if one angle is one measure and another angle is a different measure, you could use the curve with one tick mark for that first angle and a curve with two tick marks for that other angle for the different measures. <coughs> okay, so it's up to you which way you feel more comfortable doing it. I'm not going to get too into it. It's more of a personal preference thing. Okay, so here's an example. So we're going to calculate the interior angle and the total interior angle and each individual interior angle measure for each regular polygon. Okay, so we'll start with this one. This one's got four sides. So remember the formula 180 degrees times the quantity n minus 2, where n is the number of sides. So, so this this polygon has four sides, so n would be four. Four minus two is two. Two times one eighty is three sixty. So the sum of all these angles, interior angles, is three hundred sixty degrees. Now, to find the measure of each individual angle, we'll take that total angle and divide it by the number of sides it has. So. 360 divided by 4, 90 degrees. So each angle measures 90 degrees. Okay. Now for this one, this one has 8 sides. So our n is 8. So the total interior angle, 8 minus 2 is 6. And 6 times 180 is 1080 degrees. Okay. So all these angles in here, add up to 1080 degrees so <clears throat> to find the measure of each interior angle we're going to take the total angle 1080 and divide it by the number of sides which is 8 so once we do that let's see what we get so 1080 divided by 8 so each of these interior angles will be 135 degrees Okay. It's pretty simple and pre pretty straightforward. So to sum everything up, regular polygons have at least three sides, and each side is the same measurement. Um, each interior angle is also the same measure. And you also want to use the proper notations. So each thing is going to have one tick mark because they're all the same measure. Okay guys, well that's it for this uh, video. Thanks for tuning in and I will catch you next time.
Take care.